The history of the Spich Museum in Spiska Nova Ves can be traced back to the year 1951 when it was established in the Provincial House, a building that has been standing for 700 years and is one of the many architectonic landmarks of the historic center of the city, Spiska Nova Ves. From medieval times to the 18th century, it has served as a city hall and then later, between the year 1775 and 1876, as the seat of power of Province 16, Spiche Towns. The museum has attracted more than two million local and foreign visitors throughout the seven decades of its existence. It is one of the most significant Slovak museums, and it reached the European standard after its complex reconstruction, which was finished in 2016. The new history exposition of Spiche History of the Provincial House, which is historically located to allow further immersion, presents the history of Province 16, Spiche Town, with a unique collection of original portraits of the first dignitaries and mayors of the province in 1775. Today, we can meet the real faces of the decision makers in Spiche from 245 years ago. The coat of arms, seal, and privilege of ruler Maria Theresa confirm the provincial autonomy. Visitors are also introduced to more recent history by interactive technologies. At the hand of the photo studio Gustav Metz et al., they get the ultimate turn of the 20th century experience through virtual reality. The museum is ready to open a permanent nature exposition of Spiche by the year 2023. As of now, the natural science theme expositions are being showcased throughout 10 rooms, which are in great demand and are mainly visited by schools. The Spiche Museum has managed a unique French park in Markushovca with a castle and the summer house Dardanelli since the year 1967. The existence of this area has been bound to the members of a significant peerage in Spiche, the Mariachi, a noble family. Nowadays, these restored historical buildings are national cultural monuments and along with the expositions represent the jewels of the Spiche Museum. The Renaissance Castle, built in 1643 by the orders of František Mariachi, offers an exhibition of historical furniture, portraying different styles starting from Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, Empire, Biedermeier, to historicisms and neo-styles of the second half of the 19th century. Historical clocks, paintings, porcelain, and weaponry uniquely complete the atmosphere of the times. The Summer House Dardanelli is the gem of the whole complex. The rich stucco decoration on the facade, with motifs of musical instruments right at the entrance, reveals the purpose of its construction at the end of the 18th century by Wolfgang Mariachi in Rococo style. The concert hall, which is decorated with scenes of Greek mythology, is used for concerts to this day thanks to its great acoustics providing a venue for performance of hundreds of domestic and also foreign artists. The exposition of keyboard musical instruments in Summerhouse Dardanelli is one of a kind in Slovakia. Originally a farmhouse, the family coats of arms of the married Susanna Sontag and František Mariachi, placed above one of the portals, became the inspiration for the name of the project, Manor House Susanna, an experience in the museum, which is being implemented by Spiche Museum from EAA grants, state budget of Slovakia, and the budget of the self-governing region of Košice, a multifunctional cultural object that adheres to the European standard will be created by 2023 through reconstruction. 
It will contain new facilities for visitors and staff, as well as modern expositions, that will bring a new way of presentation and viewing of the museum. In the village of Smysheny, which is the entrance gateway to the Slovak Paradise National Park, the last branch of Spish Museum is completed by the house which was the birthplace of Captain Jan Nalepka. This exposition emerged in the year 1971 in his original farmhouse from the beginning of the 20th century. It is dedicated to the life and legacy of Captain Jan Nalepka, an anti-fascist partisan a hero of the Slovak National Uprising and Brigadier General in memoriam. Smyšany Ethnographic Museum will surprise its visitors with the preserved wealth of our ancestors. Since 1991, the exhibition displays more than 600 items. From a hand loom, with the option of sitting down and making your own canvas, through different crafting tools, and tools related to the employment of the area, to beautiful components of women's, men's, and children's clothing. A large part of the building currently serves as depositories of the museum's extensive and diverse collection funds, 130,000 collections, the strong professional representation of the museum, as well as the research, acquisition, publishing, and educational activities serve to highlight the immense potential for the future of Speech Museum.